Hello and a welcome to Spirit Forest. I have another weekend here at Spirit Forest and I have to tell you guys, I finally convinced my 12 year old daughter to come with me camping. Now that was a feat. It was like a discussion. Her and I sat down and we talked about it. If uh, you don't know, and this is the first video you clicked on with me, I've had bear issues here. Um, a bear has come into my camp, flipped over a bunch of stuff. Um, I've had a lot of rat issues and mice issues. So it's just been one of those years where it's just been really tough to get the kids out here. And she has told me that there's no way she would ever camp in that tent again because she was there when the rats were inside the tent and running all around. And that's how she remembers the tent. So I am so happy that she is here and um, I can camp with her again. So. To convince her, and if you have a kid like mine that is very, Madison was a lot easier to convince. I convinced Madison to come out here uh, by saying that she'll, I'll teach her how to shoot a BB gun. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay, I'll go camping then. Um, with Kyla, my younger daughter, um, again, who's 12 years old, I mean my 13 year old, she had a birthday. <laughs> keep forgetting, they keep getting older every year. <laughs> She's a teenager now. It's crazy. But the way to Kyla's heart, and this is what you got to know with your own kids, the way to Kyla's heart is movies and puzzles. <laughs> I have convinced her to come here because I said you can watch whatever movie you want. We'll download whatever movie you want and you can sit in the tent and watch a movie and put together a puzzle. <laughs> and she's like, hmm. And then I told her, I said, I'll be up all night. You know, that's not happening. Nothing's going to happen to you. I'll be up. I'll be on guard. <laughs> she actually even positioned, she's going to be sleeping in the bed with me. Um, she's just too scared to sleep on the, on the cot. And um, she's positioned it so that she can like get out of the bed as, as, as fast as she can. Um, and... <laughs> She doesn't want to be anywhere near the walls of the tent because that's where she feels the rats are, which is probably true, probably true. So, little update on the rats too. I am going to be putting some traps out tonight and um, they are, um, I think, I can't really tell because maybe I missed it, but there were some more rat droppings inside the tent, but there's no damage to the tent. So what I'm doing... Um, every weekend is is working sorry ants are crawling on me um, um what i'm doing every weekend is working where i'm putting the bed up and everything like that um, there were a rat and urine marks around the tent so um tonight and and every night that that i can be here um, i will be putting traps up around the tent but i i just don't want all my videos to be about the rats um, <laughs> because just know it's an ongoing process here. Um, every time I'm up here, I'm constantly fighting these rats that are getting inside my tent. So if you are new to the channel, I'm sorry I always say this to my subscribers, but there's my summer home. It's a nice canvas tent, 13 or 14 feet by 16 feet. Been living in it for four years now, four four summers. Um, in the winter time I do have to take the tent down. It snows here a lot. It can snow here like three to four feet and it stays and um, this tent can't handle that kind of a snow. So um, I will be taking the tent down when the snow starts to fly a little bit more. Uh, now in, in Colorado we did have a little little bit of snow coming earlier than I thought and I'll tell you I was really nervous about that but um, yeah yeah. So anyways, Kyla's here, I'm very excited, and um, let's go inside and see what she's doing.
Well, Kyla's in there doing her puzzle piece, and first I want to thank Stacy for that puzzle. That has been a lifesaver, so thank you so much, Stacy, for that. As you know, Kyla loves puzzles. Um, but while she's doing that, I'm going to hang some... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to hang some really pretty signs on my property. Um, I do have a lot of um, cameras throughout my property. And I've been having some people coming by and checking things out. And it just makes me a little nervous. And then someone else told me, I think it was a subscriber of mine or a viewer, whoever made a comment that says... I think I have a private property sign and someone says you can't do anything until you have a no trespassing sign. So <laughs> yes, I'm going to have a no trespassing sign because that's what I was told by a viewer that that's what I need. I need these exact words. So I'm just showing you guys so that you know. And so I'm going to walk on the back part of my property because some people are coming from the back and uh, they're walking down. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm building a cabin here, so it's mostly just neighbors that are coming by. It's just, I don't want them falling into the pit. <laughs> and some of you know what I'm talking about when I say the pit. Like, it's a, it's like a 12, a 10 to 12 foot drop. And if they end up trespassing on my land and then they fall down, um, that could be, that could be really, really bad. And to be honest with you, I just... I just don't want people coming on my property unless they're invited to be here. That's just what it comes down to as well. So let's go put up some pretty signs today. I'm walking my property right now and looking for a place to end up putting my sign. And for those of you that didn't watch that video, I did have um, somebody who watches my YouTube videos just show up to my property and so I don't know if signs really deter people or not and I got cameras all over this property <laughs> and I do know the person that's coming here is just I want to make sure this person doesn't get injured and I don't think that they understand like if they if they start walking down I have I have holes dug and all that kind of stuff and they start walking down in some areas it's uh they're gonna get really injured and I don't feel like getting sued either so that's just one of those things I think this is kind of this is the top of my property right now um you'll see there's a kind of a flag that's what my surveyor did I don't know if you see that there's a pink flag over there I think I might just be able just to hang it on this slanted tree I don't I don't know. I'm, I'm looking. I'm going to find a spot and start hanging it. I don't think it needs to be pretty. It just needs to be in people's face, you know? And I ended up putting it where I think people are gaining access to my property. And I've shown this before. I'm going to turn the camera. If you see here, that is where my power is and they cut this, this nice path for people to go ahead and just walk right onto my property and that's what they're doing. I think some trees fight back because now, time I touch a tree or something, I have sap all over me. And to get sap off of you, this part I know, getting off your clothes is a different, different ball game, but I don't know, do you see, do you see that glistening? <laughs> yeah, I have sap all over me. But to get sap off of you, you just use dirt. And uh, dirt will get the sap off your hands. Yeah, it's a bit messy, but, you know, I'm camping anyways. <laughs> but now it's not sticky. It's not sticky at all. So, all good. A little dirty. <laughs> And then eventually the dirt comes off and, and uh, you know, up oh, there's some more sap over here underneath my fingernail. But in case you're out there and you get a bunch of sap on your hands, just use the dirt. It's the best soap ever for sap. Okay, we're going to walk back now to, to the tent. But I wanted to talk to you guys, kind of get your opinion on something too. 
been kind of thinking of this for a while, making some changes to my tent, and uh, would love your love your thoughts on that. So, um, let me walk to the tent, and uh, and we'll kind of chat about what those changes are going to be. Okay, we're back at my tent, and as you know, as I said earlier, is that I'm building a cabin, and so I'm looking at maybe changing some things around in my tent. Now, I've been asked a lot if I'm gonna be putting this tent up next year or if I'm just gonna be staying in my cabin. Um, I actually had to sign something, it's like a permit type thing, saying that I will not live in the house um, until I get my CO. So, uh, certificate of occupancy. So that means I'm gonna be in the tent next year as well. So don't worry, the tent is still gonna be up and I don't foresee my house being done at I don't know. There's some things that are stalling right now and we'll talk about it in some future future videos, but it might be the end of next year by the time I get the CO in order to get into the house. And I will talk about that um, as the as the building progresses. But this is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of changing the tent, switching the tent from the porch being on this side switching it around so the porch is on that side. Now this side is faced east, so it's actually in the summertime, um, it's really nice because you can see we're nicely shaded here in this area. Now let's go over to the west side, which is where I'm thinking my porch will be next year. I had to change the settings on my phone because it is actually really bright here, but you're gonna see, look at all the sun that's on the tent right here. So. Again, I'm thinking of switching around, which means my stove will be over here and there's a little bit more tree. So I got to do some trimming. So that's something that I'm going to have to do. And sorry that my camera's kind of acting up a little bit. Maybe if I do this, it, <laughs> it does it right. But I'm thinking of having my porch now on this side and I'll end up showing you what I'll be looking at. But instead of looking at um, my construction site, I'll still be able to look at my my nice little forest. So let me know what you think of that. That's something that I'm thinking of doing. Um, there's some changes that I have to do um, on the sides of the tent and stuff in order to make that um, make that work. And uh, we'll probably have to figure it out as we put it up next year. So that's a little note to myself. And and I also need to figure out how to give me some shade, or else it's going to be like really really bright there so I told I just told Kyla on the walk over because she's she's you know she was on the porch and I told her on the walk over I'm like Kyla you're gonna have to figure out some sort of like shading thing here you know so that way as we're sitting on the porch we'll have some some nice shade too but it will be nice on those really cold days where I just want to be in the sun you know uh, today's not one of them today's a pretty hot day today so that's a good thing so let me show you what it is that I'd be looking at when I switch the tent around well I have to point you right in the sun because that's the view that we're going to be looking at but we're going to be able to see the sunset from the tent wouldn't that be awesome I do like that so uh, my kitchen area those that watch my channel know my kitchen area is behind this wood stack over here so that is my kitchen area and my little bear will most likely go on this really big tree right here um, it is really pretty, very peaceful looking this way, and um, there are some changes that I will have to make. Okay, I have no steps going in <laughs> to, onto the ground. In fact, these, these I just put there just um, a while ago, and they're just kind of falling apart, just extra pieces of wood pretty much. And then I have my water barrel, but um, maybe I can create like a step down or basically just a landing right here or bring a step down to, to where I'm at. Or I can bring some more steps down towards the middle here. I don't know. I'm kind of deciding, kind of thinking about this. And if you remember, this is my shower area right there too. And my car is parked over here. So it's not too far. Of a, um, it's a little bit further of a walk to get into the tent. But honestly, I could still use these back doors on the other side to get into the tent. Um, we just hang out a lot on my porch here. Um, I think my biggest concern is probably going to be to find some sort of shade <laughs> so that way we're not being bombarded by the heat in the sun. 
So leave a comment below. I would love your opinion towards the, the shading of the deck. Now you guys know what my, my tent looks like. So uh, maybe you got some different ideas than I, than I do in order to shade this side. So that way it's a project that maybe I can work on this winter. So I'm all prepared for next summer when I end up turning the tent around. Okay, Kyla and I are leaving. We're going to a party that has a live band. It should be a lot of fun. And then we're going we're gonna to meet you guys in the tent and just say goodnight. Um, but thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. We're going to keep working on this puzzle too. Kyla has been doing an awesome job on this puzzle. And again, I'm very happy that she's here. So um, we're going to head off to this party and uh, we'll see you later tonight. Is this thing on? No, I'm in my PJs. Um, I'm actually interrupting this video. It is the next day already and Kyla has already left, which is um, expected. Just so you know, I have motion lights in here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys kind of an update of how last night went. So, I don't know, just so you know, because I started to look at the video and I was like, man, I didn't talk about what happened last night <laughs> in the video. So Kyla was very nervous and she doesn't show it in the video because that's not who she is, <laughs> you know, but she was very nervous to be here. And I did everything I possibly could to try to make her comfortable to be here. And as soon as like nightfall hit, she heard like every sound outside. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and where do I start? Long night. She, um, there was rats outside the tent and they would run around the deck. So she was inside the tent. There was no rats inside the tent. She was inside the tent. She's like, mommy, do you hear this? Mommy, do you hear that? Mom, did you hear that? And I'm like, yes, I heard it. I heard it. Now, again, if you're not about, if this is not something you want to hear, go ahead and stop the video now. I am going to talk about the rats. Sorry, but this was Kind of what this video is a little bit about is getting my daughter out here to come camping with me. And um, she was freaked out. So I had a ton of traps. I had no bait in the traps. I want to let you guys know that. No bait. But what I did is I pointed a bunch of trail cams towards the bottom of the deck. I wanted to see where the rats were coming in and out of the deck. And um, I had a pretty good idea where they were coming in and out. So I put a bunch of traps in that area. And some traps in other areas as well. So it was like if any animal was around the tent, I, I was going to catch it, you know. So we're sitting here, we're watching a movie, because that's what she likes to do. Is she likes to watch movies and that calms her, you know. And so like I'm turning up the volume so she doesn't hear all the rats outside as much as I was hearing them. And then all of a sudden we hear snap. And I'm like, and of course me, I'm like excited. I'm like, I got one. And she's like, was that a rat? What was that? And she starts freaking out again. She was, okay, she was, when I say freaking out, she was better than I think she was with her daddy because when she was with her daddy, she basically ran to the car and said she wasn't going to leave the car. Um, so I actually feel really good. She felt pretty confident that I can handle these rats, and I did. You know, um, I went, um, I went out there and, and I had my, okay, again, if you don't want to hear this stuff, Click off the video now. 
um, went out there with my BB gun and and uh, f finished the job. Let's just put it that way, and um, and and fed some coyotes. And it was a big rat. It really was. I'm not going to show you pictures, but it was a really big rat. And I'm very happy that I got it. And it went exactly where I thought it was going and, and where the trail cams were telling me they were coming in and out. Um, I do think I do have more rats out here. In fact, I just heard one um, probably about 10 minutes ago. And I it set off the trap, but it didn't catch the rat. And... Um, so I reset the reset the trap, but um, yeah. Um, so she had um, kind of a I don't know. It wasn't really emotional night for her, but she was any noise that was going on, she was hearing it, you know. And I had to calm her down, be like, "It's okay, you know. I got this. You don't have to worry about it. Go back to sleep." you know, and so she eventually fell back asleep, but this girl never sleeps in. My daughter never sleeps in. She wakes up at like 6 o'clock, 6.30 every day, and is like, she's like on it. She makes a breakfast. She's ready for the day. She slept in till 8, <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, she, she did good. And I, and I also, I caught a couple, um, mice as well too, which are getting inside the tent too. So that um, I don't have a problem with that, but I just wanted to let you know, give you an update. I am so happy. It's easier for me to talk when the kids aren't around me. I'm so happy that she came here because I'm telling you, like she is, is very, um, what's it? timid <laughs> she doesn't like change and she doesn't like like roughing it you know what I mean this this is not her style but she'll do it um, and again I apologize if my camera's not focusing on me but hopefully you could just just listen you know um, sometimes you you got to put kids in, in situations this is what I believe and this is what I do with my kids you know you got to put them in situations that are tough that are hard, that challenge them, you know, both both mentally and physically. You gotta do that or else they're gonna get out in the real world and they're not gonna know what to do and they won't be able to cope with this stuff, you know? And I am so proud of her for staying in the tent and never once did she ask to go to my car and sleep in my car. So I, again, very happy that she decided just to stay in the tent. She felt very comfortable around me that I was able to handle it. Um, and I did, you know. Um, so again, I just, just wanted to um, say that because I was watching this video and I realized that we didn't really talk about that because all that happened after we shot the, the last part of the video, which I'm going to show you the last part of the video. <laughs> it's more of like a... It's more of like a blooper <laughs> type thing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that and then we'll go ahead and in, in the video there. But wanted to give you um, an update and, and reality um, of what really was happening in that tent um, or in this tent that night. So um, check out the blooper. Warm. It's, it's warm pretty right warm right now. Like I think it's in the probably the 50s, which is really odd. Which is good for you to be here, though. Um, I I did set up some more traps outside, and and uh, we'll see if we got what well, get. Uh, I don't know if I want to talk about that. Delete that too. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna hang out in the tent and just have some like a little bit of movie time. As I said that. Kyla's favorite things is puzzles and movies, so we're going to have some movies. But I wanted to thank you guys for joining me today, um, and it's been, a, it's been a lot of fun. I didn't include you on the... In <sighs> la, 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 la. Come on, Mommy, do it. La, 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 just end the video, la, 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 la. Tam. Just end it. <laughs> end the video. Um, Thanks for joining us today. Really appreciate it. And we hope to see you on our next video. Bye-bye.
on, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and 